Hi, what's up you guys? It's your boy Justin Too Fast here, you're back in here with more Review Mondays. So what I have for you guys is another Herschel bag, but it's a little different. It's called the Barlow Large Herschel bag, and it's definitely a lot bigger than the previous one that I did last week. The one that makes this really unique is it's more for traveling, at least that's what I use it for, especially when you're going hiking, camping, or if you're in the city and you're doing photography. I usually put all my photography equipment in this bag, and it definitely still has room in case you have to put some snacks in or anything like that but you know let's get straight into it <laughs> Starting off with the front of the bag, you do have the Herschel logo right here. And I'm not 100% sure as to what these symbols and letters mean over here, but it's very huge as you can tell. You have both sides are uh, equal, so you do have these two straps to secure anything in the bag. And then you also have two side pockets also for water bottles. So that's always handy. And then also to show you guys the size, um, I do have a 24 ounce water bottle, and then that fits perfectly on both sides. So there you go on the side there. And then you do have this clip here that secures the top of the package. So, sorry, let's do it this way. So here, you're gonna clip it, opens the flap. Oh, and also before I forget, you also do have a pocket here for uh, phones or anything like keys when you're traveling. And it is just one huge pocket. So it goes pretty deep for anything miscellaneous. And then also if, when you're hiking or traveling anything, in case you have a water pouch or a camel pouch, you can insert the tubing through here because it comes out. So in case you need, you know, or worried about traveling, you need some water and that's where you can put that too, some extra water. What was that? So going back to the main compartment, let me just tilt the camera a little. There you go. So to make it easier for you guys, I also put in a, a box in here so you can see how big it is on the inside. So for securement, there is like a, a sack kind of closure, a drawstring. Then we'll open that all the way. And as you can tell, it fits on a size eight and a half shoe box pretty well. So there's no problems there. So let's take that out. And then on the inside, we're going to show you some pockets that it's pretty nifty. So here you go. Let's see. So on the inside, you can see it is just another huge pouch that goes very deep. You do have this laptop sleeve that goes all the way down to the end of the bag also. And then here you can see a little keychain slot flop right here if the camera focuses. And then you do have some more pockets for smaller things. This looks like an ID. And then also on the top here, you have also some more places you can attach keys or any kind of rope or anything like that when you're traveling. But definitely really useful when you're traveling, hiking, you can definitely store a lot of things in here. And then on the inside, this is where the water pouch uh, goes through. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what the bag looks like in circular motion like the previous video, but I'm still going to go over the rest of this bag. So the neat part about this backpack is, especially if you're traveling in the woods or camping, especially if you have photography and then it starts raining, my favorite part about this bag is it does have a cover on the bottom over here. So all you do is just unzip it and... This sheath comes out and then all you do is just wrap it over. And then all your materials, your photography, all your equipment, everything inside stays dry. So that's what I really like about this backpack, especially if you're expecting to be outside for long trips. Hi, right. thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope it was really helpful to see what it looks like, the bag inside and outside, and the little sheath on the bottom. Um, and also, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the YouTube channel. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. It puts out my channel out there, and then it also helps you find products that you would like to see more of. But, you know, it is your boy Justin Too Fast for you, so try to keep up.
Hi. Deuces. Okay, she's gonna be